So not a whole lot is going on right now. Um, the Colossus hero is still trying to push this far lane, um, and the Archon is trying to push uh, this lane to the to to the right as well. Um, and we see that the Corruptor is going to try to, you know, potentially uh, latch onto the Archon hero and kill it because the Archon hero does not have much shields remaining. Um, but other than that, not a whole lot is happening right now. If we look at the Oh, actually, we're gonna have. I think we have a fight around here. Um, never mind. If we look at the leaderboard, we can see that uh, that Team Go from Uffens has a fairly significant um, advantage in terms of experience. Uh, the Colossus Hero is about three levels ahead of the Infestor Hero, so um, that that's that's fa fa fairly good for uh, Team Go from Uffens. Oh, and we see a lurker dragging. A, we see a Phoenix Hero dragging a lurker onto this rock and I, the lurker is stuck so <laughs> that's actually quite hilarious um, I'm not sure what the lurker is gonna plan to do maybe it might have to kill itself yeah it's 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 doing it's committing suicide so um, so that's quite funny but the the phoenix hero decides to try to kill the lurker hero before it commits suicide um, not that effective but the corruptor hero is has come in and it's latching onto the phoenix. Uh, I might get it, but the phoenix gets away because it's so much faster. Um, oh, and we have we have a nice complaint about balance, so uh, that's quite funny. Um, so yeah, the lurker hero kills itself. Um, Corruptor hero is latching onto the phoenix and gets revenge for uh, its lurker ally. Um, so that was quite nice. Uh, we see that the the uh, infestor hero is starting to push back um, the slain. I'm not sure, quite sure where the colossus hero went. Uh, I believe it wants to push middle now, um, but it's killing, killing some critters on the way. Uh, we have the archon hero that might use power overwhelming against the corruptor. Um, so uh, yeah, the corruptor used latch. Um, it decides not to use power overwhelming. So. Uh, the corruptor might get away, um, but that's not a big deal. Um, for some reason, the fester is choosing to go in the only lane that has observers. Um, I mean, it must already know their observers since it was detected, so uh, choosing to go into the same lane doesn't make much sense. Uh, so not that much is going on right now. We see that... Oh, there's a nice fight going on here between the uh, corruptor hero and the phoenix. Um, but the Phoenix runs away, and the Corruptor uses a Knight of Swarm to go back to base to buy items, so... Um, actually, the Corruptor Hero is playing fairly well this game, I, I must admit. Uh, definitely makes up for the, the Infestor being not so great. Um, oh yeah, so the Colossus Hero is coming to kill the Infestor. Uh, the Infestor will probably die. Uh, see, th I, I, th this, this is a problem. I don't really see why the Infestor chose to lane the same lane as the Corruptor. Um, and it could even just use fungal growth to kill that observer and it would live, but um, I don't think it would do that. Uh, even though the uh, observer is invisible, you can sort of use the... the uh, there's a trick where you change your, your zoom and you can sort of see the blur of the observer to know where it is. Um, oh, and, and there's been a double KO between the Infestor and the Colossus, so that was actually really nice. Um, yeah, and I mixed a lot of names up in, in my commentary, so sorry about that. Uh, we see that the Corruptor Hero is flying towards the Phoenix Hero, maybe, uh, trying to do it. Um, and the I think the Lurker Hero is, is afraid of being pulled onto a, a ledge again by the Phoenix. Um, yeah, that's, that's qu a fairly annoying strategy on this map if you don't have a, a hero that has an ability to get down a cliff. Um, and I don't know why the Lurker... Yeah, the, the, the Corruptor just got, got, got ganked 2v1, and I believe I think if the Lurker actually joined in that fight, they could have easily gotten two kills, but uh, but the Lurker was too afraid, so as a result, its ally died. Um, so that's a bit unfortunate for uh, Team Go from uh, Team Nitro. Um, so as as we can see, for the most part, uh, Team Go for Muffins has a better map control than Team Nitro. Uh, but I don't believe they have detection to deal with this Lurker Hero, so um, this lane will definitely not be able to push much further. 
Uh, the Archon Hero is fairly low in shields, so I should definitely consider going back, um, since the Archon does not have much life. Uh, what else is going on? Uh, we see that Infester is going on the right lane, the only lane with observers yet again. Uh, I don't know why. Um, I guess I, I guess if you at first you don't succeed, try try again uh, until you lose the game. So the Phoenix Hero also has low shields, uh, and the Archon is running away. Um, I don't think they have detection, so uh, so that's too bad for uh, Team Nitro. So not a whole lot is going on right now. Um, we see that uh, Team Gopher Muffins has pushed quite far with its units. I'd I'd really like to see some upgrades from any of these teams. Uh, actually, we see we see Team uh, Nitro actually getting um, one weapon upgrade for their units. So um, that that should actually actually makes a huge difference. Like the the units from like if left alone, the units from uh, Team Nitro will like always beat the units from Team uh, Go for Muffins. Uh, and here we see that the Archon is very close to dying. Um, I'm actually die if I was not too careful, but. Uh, but gets away. Um, so much is happening right now. We see that a bunch of void rays are attacking these buildings um, because yeah, yeah, because like team team Nitro just left left these units too long. Um, I'd probably like to see some of the players on Team Nitro maybe get Razor Storm because uh, they they seriously do need some AOE to deal with you know any sort of pushes that the other team makes. Um, otherwise, they're gonna just lose too many too many um, defensive structures. Uh, but the Corruptor her Hero is defending, so that's okay. Um, over here, we said that the Colossus Hero is attacking these spine crawlers from a decent range. Um, and in the top, we have the Infestor Hero still deciding to lane in the only lane that has observers. Um, actually, this lane has an observer now, but, uh, but that one has two. So, um, Phoenix Hero. I'd really like to see some warp gates by t Gopher Muffins. Uh, just because it allows them to get to the front lines faster, but um, like like I said, this isn't their preferred race. Their preferred race is Zerk, so they might not be as good at Protoss, um, or they might just be lazy because they th they already think they've had this game in the bag. Um, okay, so we see that the Colossus Hero is going to backdoor on these buildings. Um, this is one thing that actually makes the Colossus Hero fairly strong on this map, since uh, you, you can't really do this on any of the other maps. Um, this is pretty unique to the, the lava map where the Colossus can do this, and you have these ledges that you can hide on. So, um, I want I'd, a team. Team Nitro isn't really reacting to this. I think if the Corruptor Hero actually went to defend, he could get a kill. Um, and he's go defend. Okay, the Corruptor Hero is actually moving away from the Colossus while the Colossus finishes off two production buildings. Uh, and if those goes down. Um, if those go down, Team Team Nitro is actually going to be put in a fairly bad position. Uh, but we see that the Corruptor Hero, I think he wants this Phoenix. Um, he might actually get the Phoenix. Yeah, we see a nice latch. Uh, buildings go down by uh, Colossus Hero. Colossus Hero teleports back to base, not die. Uh, and it lo looks like the Corruptor Hero lost that fight, probably due to all these unit spawns nearby. So uh, Corruptor Hero should probably go back to, to heal. Um, on the far left, we see the lurker still pushing. Uh, surprisingly, they ha like Team Nitro hasn't really even pushed past the first level defenses for uh, for Team Gopher Muffins. Um, here we have the Archon Hero pushing, um, and the Phoenix Hero is is pushing the the, the lane to the right. So um, I'm not sure if Team Nitro has realized that they lost these buildings yet. But if they lose any more, such as these buildings, they're um, going to be in a really really bad position. Uh, so not that much is happening right now. Um, looking at items, we see that we have a fair amount of items, mostly passive items and energy nova for the uh, Corruptor Hero. Um, actually, back to the game, we see that the uh, Lurker Hero is holding off his push while the Colossus Hero is trying to kill these production buildings yet again. Um, I, I think that Team Nitro just might not be prepared for this strategy. They might have not seen it before. Uh, but definitely, if they just if they if they just put a few observe like overseers around, or they reacted quicker with the corruptor hero, they could easily deal with this. 
Um, oh, and that's me telling Ricey that he doesn't need a borrower item as an investor. So, um, yeah, but you can see that the the Colossus Hero did, can't really help in air to air combat. So, um, but yeah, two more production facilities go down. Uh, the Archon's pushing the slain to the left. Uh, the hatchery is now vulnerable. Um, the infester is defending the right. Uh, t yeah, Team Nitro has almost zero map control. Um, they have the lurker hero Aaron has actually pushed quite far, so uh, he might be a good hope for for Team Nitro if if the other team, um, you know, doesn't realize it. Uh, and and the corruptor hero is being being doing fairly well. If we look at kills. Um, we can see that, uh, yeah. We we can see that Cam is actually is actually has four kills and two deaths, and is is fairly high level. Um, actually, there isn't a big experience difference between the two teams. So, um, in in terms of heroes, like the two teams are fairly e even. The main difference probably is the fact that uh, that that yeah, T Team Nitro has lost two production buildings because they weren't prepared for that back door uh, by the Corruptor Hero. I mean, by the Colossus Hero, and they're not rebuilding it or putting defenses there. So, um, yeah, so the best bet is they're going to have to somehow backdoor, but um, it might be difficult with, with the, their current heroes that they have. Um, yeah, so, I, I think what Team uh, Gopher Muffins is planning to is maybe they'll just defend and hopefully uh, somehow gain an, an experience or level advantage over their opponent, um, and then maybe push out, because... It's going to be pretty pretty difficult to push out. Um, oh, and we see that the Corruptor Hero is using Observers for Vision and is attacking the main building of um, of Team Nitro. So if Team Nitro doesn't realize this, they're going to lose the game pretty fast. Uh, you know, Hatchery's lost quite a bit of its life right now. Um, oh, we see that the Corruptor Hero realizes this and is probably going to latch. Uh, it should use it should use its flight because you can actually fly out of this this. Um, this time pyramid, but, uh, and yeah, it flies now when it, the ability ends, so, um, so yeah, it's very close. Corruptor Hero doesn't kill the Colossus Hero for some reason, I don't know why, um, that's actually a really poor decision. I, I don't think the Corruptor Hero realizes that the Colossus Hero nearly died. Uh, over on the left we see the Infestor Hero still pushing the lane, or rather just sitting there. Um, we said the Ph Phoenix Hero was coming to reinforce. Um, I believe that the Phoenix Hero just killed the Lurker Hero. So, yeah, the the Team Metro has to at least defend two v three until um, I, 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 un until the until the Lurker Hero responds. So, we see that the Phoenix Hero uh, is thinking about backdooring and killing that Hatchery because uh, if they kill Hatchery, the game ends. Um, but the Corruptor Hero is in decent position to end it. So. Uh, I would like to see a latch here, but uh, Phoenix Hero flies away smartly. Um, we see that the Fester Hero is getting pushed pushed back. Uh, it, it's wise to stay near the cannons. Um, the Lurker Hero respawns in 8 seconds, so uh, once the Lurker Hero responds, it's going to be much easier for Team Nitro uh, to defend. Um, but I, I believe that the Colossus Hero went back to heal and get items, and it's going to make one final back door. Um, and and yeah, T T Team Nitro needs to defend this because like they only need to kill about a thousand hit points left on the hatchery. Um, and yeah, Team Nitro is totally opposition. We see the Phoenix Hero and the Corruptor Hero both killing the hatchery. Uh, Corruptor is nowhere to be found. Corruptor and Infestor don't even realize. Um, Lurker deals with the Phoenix Hero, but uh, hatchery goes down to the Corruptor, so that's GG. Um, and Team Gopher Muffins moves on to the. Uh, to the final match.